I don't know when to buy stocks, but I know whether to buy stocks. Some people should not own stocks at all because they just get too upset with price fluctuations. If you're going to do dumb things because your stock goes down, you shouldn't own a stock at all. <laughs> I mean, if, if you buy your house at $20,000 and somebody comes along the next day and says, I'll pay you fifteen, you don't sell it because the quote's fifteen. <laughs> the best thing with stocks actually is to buy them consistently over time. You want to spread the risk as far as the specific companies you're in by owning a diversified group, and you diversify over time by buying this month, next month, the year after the year after. The if you save money, you can buy bonds, you can buy a farm, you can buy an apartment house, or you can buy a part of American business. And if you buy a 10-year bond now, you're paying over 40 times earnings for something whose earnings can't grow. And you know, you compare that to buying equities, good businesses, I don't think there's any comparison. You're making a terrible mistake if you stay out of a game that you think is going to be very good over time because you think you can pick a better time to enter it. I, I know what markets are going to do over a long period of time. They're going to go up. But in terms of what's going to happen in a day or a week or a month or a year even, I never felt that I knew it and I have never felt that it was important. I, I, I will say that in 10 or 20 or 30 years, I think stocks will be a lot higher than they are now.